In September last year, the BioRescue Project performed the transfer of a southern white rhino embryo into a surrogate mother, a historic first. The operation was a test to see whether it was possible to create a lab-made embryo and implant it into a similar rhino. The day was historic not for the southern white rhino, but for the northern white rhino. There's only two of its kind left in the world today. We can, we can prove that the human society can not only destroy biodiversity, we can actually repair it and bring it back. And that's a really important message. In this lab in Berlin, northern white rhino embryos are ready. The next step is to transfer an embryo of the nearly extinct subspecies into a southern white rhino surrogate mother. That's because the last two remaining northern white rhinos cannot bear children. We're here today with the 33 embryos. We have a lot of embryos available, and we estimate that we can produce about 10 to 15 babies. And that means that 15 of these babies will, of course, also have new egg cells. The program could then continue indefinitely. Our main goal, and this is probably not something that I personally will be around for, is that in 20 to 25 years, the first animals can be released again in Central Africa. September 22nd is World Rhino Day, a day of awareness for all rhino species and the work being done to save them.